Okay. Well, Hello. Call to order then. Uh, this is a town of Long Beach Advisory Board of Zoning Appeals regular meeting on Tuesday, March 9th, 2021 at 7.01 p.m. Uh, this meeting is held via Zoom video conference. The BZA is a quasi-judicial body that provides a forum through which property owners can seek relief from the strict requirements of the Long Beach Zoning Code. The decisions of the BZA are rendered in regard to the laws and ordinances in place. Therefore, it is necessary that the BZA conduct its business in a fair and legally correct manner. With that, I will ask BZA Secretary Meg Collins to conduct the roll call. Board members, Vice Chairman Rich Jersich. Here. Meg Kanyer. Here. Barb Morgan. Here. Doug Wickstrom. Here. And Chairman Michael Gorman is absent. BZA Council Chris Willoughby is absent. And what was your name again standing in? Charles Watterson from Brazy Nelson and James. Thank you. Thanks, Meg. Secretary Meg Collins is here. Bob, uh, Building Representative Bob LeMay. Here. That concludes roll. Thanks, Meg. Uh, with that, we have a quorum. Um, I'll do one on a historical note, since we always say the Pledge of Allegiance. I just want to let you know that the Pledge of Allegiance was written in August of 1892 by the Socialist Minister Francis <laughs> Bellamy. I, I thought that's interesting in the time we had the last couple of years, but um, if we could just uh, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, and I will start. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice, justice for all. Thank you all. With that, uh, move the first item on the agenda. Uh, the approval of the minutes from the February 9th, 2021 meeting. I think the members have for the notes from that meeting. Do I have a motion to approve those minutes? I make a motion. Motion by them. Meg Kanyer, a second. I'll second them. Second by Barb Morgan. Any discussion? None. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, those minutes are approved. Uh, next item on the agenda, old business, none, new business, none. And then we'll move into the preliminary hearings. Um, we'll go to the second one, which is Andrew and Maria Smith. Uh, they have two variances for 2610 and 2616, but they have asked for a continuance uh, through Chris Willoughby, and that has been approved. Do we need to have a motion to continue that, Charles? Yes, that would that would be nice. Okay, uh, so I'll make a motion uh, motion to continue. The Smith's variance uh, of 2610 and 2616 Lakeshore Drive to the April, I believe that's the 13th uh, meeting of April 13, 2021. Do I have a second? I'll second. Uh, seconded by Doug Wickstrom. Uh, any discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> Opposed? Hearing none, those, those, uh, that motion is approved. So the Smiths have been continued to the April 13th meeting. Then the next item on our agenda is the continued preliminary hearing for William and Amanda Kenefick. 
2318 Hazleton Drive, a de developmental standards variance petition requesting variance from the requirements of sections 154.057, schedule of district reg regulations concerning volume, and 154.134, non-conforming residential dwelling alteration permitted concerning the footprint. Petitioner is seeking to build a covered open deck uh, and the new walkway. The preliminary hearing opened at the regularly scheduled uh, meeting on February 9th, and the meeting was continued to tonight. Uh, Mr. Kenefick, would you like to give us a quick overview of your petition? Sure, thanks everybody for um, the time today and opportunity to have this continuance. Uh, we've taken feedback from the last meeting and prepared some additional uh, materials that we think should um, speak to some of the details uh, requested, including um, variances specifically and also visuals. Um, I also wanna introduce uh, Larry Zimmer, our architect who's on the phone call uh, with us, um, and we're happy to answer any questions that you guys may have. Great. Is that all you have then? I think we're, we've got all your, um, your site plans and the surveyor location report. And thank you for uh, working on all that. Um, so I'd like to open this up to the board. Uh, does anybody have any comments on the Canifix? I'd like to say I appreciate the additional uh, drawings. I think they helped uh, clear up um, or define the scope of the work, proposed work, uh, very well. So I thank you for that. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. It's helpful too. <laughs> I do have uh, one question on, on your summary that you submitted. You've got the variances for 154.057, and I think uh, you're, I think you're, you've switched up where the, so under 154.057, I think that should be your lot coverage. Mr. Kenefick? Okay. Um, yeah, we had that um, as the volume. So there's part of our, our house that we're um, enclosing to increase volume. And then the lot coverage um, would be representing the additional porch up in front. Um, right. So, so the lot coverage would be for would be under that one fifty four point oh five seven. Uh, yeah, I think so. So, like your current lot coverage, and and again, I'm I'm just making a suggestion for if we move forward on this tonight, uh, we may want to you may want to consider the, those changes. So like under 154.057, you might want to specify the lot coverage. So like your current lot coverage is around with 3,004. So you're at 35.76%. And then you want to add uh, your deck square footage and then the walkway. And then you come out with your 33,328 square feet so that you're you're asking for uh, an increase in lot coverage to 39.6. I, I believe that should go under 154.057. I think so. And then uh, yeah, and, and, go ahead. We had that on we had that on 154.134. Right. So just yeah. And, and, and then under the 154, it, it's semantic, yeah. but it's just just more clarification for the public hearing. Okay. Yeah. If we do move on to the public hearing, um, and and then uh, under 154.134, the volume increase. So you have the your 
you know, your interior addition, you're, you're requesting the 582 cubic feet and then your open porch, which I, I think you, it'd be nice or not. I think it'd be better clarification if you added in the height of the porch, which I, I, I'm taking it to be eight feet based on the drawings that you submitted. Okay. Yeah, uh, we should have the height um, highlighted on the drawings. Yes. Right. So, so that to me, it's like one thousand seven hundred ninety-two cubic feet. So again, just to clarify, uh, under each of the variances, I think that that would be better moving forward. Yeah, okay. that's helpful. Yeah, we can do that. So, and again, this is just. Um, for when, yeah, if and when we uh, go to the public hearing and approve a variance, we want to make sure we have specific uh, dimensions and volumes, lot coverage. Yep, understood. Any other comments? Not I. Okay. Well. If there's no further discussions, uh, I would entertain any motions to either continue this hearing for any further information or we could move it forward to a public hearing. Uh, I make so a motion to move it to public hearing on April 13th, 2021. Okay. Motion by Meg Kanyer. And do I hear a second? I'll second the motion. Second by Barb. Opposed? No, no, I, sorry. Is there any further discussion? Uh, all in favor of the motion to move the Kennefix to a public hearing on April 13th, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Hearing none, that motion is approved. The kind of fix now that this is set for a public hearing, you most, must notify the property owners at least 14 days prior to the April 13th BZA meeting. Um, and that date, I believe, would be March 30th, 2021. Okay. Okay. So. And then when you get those certificate of return back, all those have to be turned into Deanna as proof that they were sent. Uh, we just had somebody not do that once and it was, so it's very easy to do. So if you <laughs> drop them to her, then she can be sure and have those. Right. Better. And the earlier, the better, obviously. Yeah. And, and we'll, we'll work with um, Meg to place the ad in the feature too. Right. That's still part of the public hearing. Yes. I, I actually take care of that. And then okay. Deanna will invoice you guys for it. So I place the ad. And then the only other thing which Rich might get to is the sign in the yard. Okay. Right. So that those are the three requirements. Right. Okay. And the certified mail to address that we have, I think we provided a couple of different lists of addresses. Yes. Yes. That's a great complete list. It's well done. Yeah. We do both lists then because I know some people have homes in other places right. so we don't know where everyone is at this time. Should we send it to their contact address or specifically their 360 address? <laughs> Certified mail that is. I would send it where their permanent residence is if their summer home is here I would send it to their Chicago or that address unless you know and, and both addresses will match up um, that it's their home as well as their permanent address. So then you'll know that those people, you okay. can send it directly to their home here in Long Beach. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And then the sign, Meg, is will they get that from Deanna as well? Yes, you pick that up at the clerk's office. Okay. So that one is, I believe, 21 days prior. So just go back to the packet and, and make sure you complete yeah. all those items. You can call me if you have any questions. Okay, and I think that's basically all we have tonight. Rich. Um, congratulate, uh, Bob. Rich, you, yeah, I, I, just, I just want to make it clear to the Ken effects. 
I'm looking at these ordinances and I just looked up the ordinances on my uh, iPad. Uh, the ordinances that you need uh, variances from are 154.130, and that's regarding your increasing the lot size of a non of your coverage on a non-conforming lot. And the other one that you need uh, a variance from is 154.134, and that's increasing the volume on a non-conforming property. So you want to get those right, because if you don't, I'm afraid, you know, it might cost you an extra month. So you just want, you want to add 154.130 to that? Uh, 154.057 shouldn't have been there at all. Oh, really? Yeah, that doesn't really apply. Well, yes. their, their issue is that they have a non-conforming property. 154.130 and 154.134. That's correct. correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And 130 is lot size, 134 is volume. Got it. Thank you, Dr. Lemay. Thank you. Thanks, Bob. Yes. Hi, excuse me, it's Anita Ramages. Is there public comment on this or is there just the decision of the BZA to advance it without discussion of the... Um, uh, you'll uh, have a chance to, to discuss it at the public hearing. We'll okay. ask for public comments. Okay, yeah. thanks, Rich. Oh, sure, Anita. Absolutely. Um, okay, with that, I think I'll... I think we need to get a motion to adjourn uh, to the next uh, meeting, which will be on that Tuesday, April 13th. So do we have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Or in a second. Second. Matt Kenya. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? None. Thank you all, and we'll see you next month. Thanks, Thanks Rick. Thank you very Bye, much. Everybody. Thank you. Good night. Good night.